Hey, 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 what's going on, kings and queens? Get up in here, get up in here. First of all, I want to take the time out to say shout out to Gossip Girl Miss Gigi from the YouTube channel Gossip Girl XOXO. She is the first and only content creator that got the interview. Well, it really wasn't an interview, it was a call in. She called into the show while Miss Gigi was live. So first and foremost, let me shout out to the content creator, Gossip Girl XOXO, Miss Gigi. Like I said, she was the first and only one to have Miss Lisa, Pierre Thomas' mother, call into her show and give her takes, her input, her opinion. On the situation with her son and her sons. The one of her sons is married to, um, is it Pre Madonna off of um, Love and Hip Hop? I believe that's her name. Because she did mention her a few times in this content that I'm going to let y'all hear. And she's going to also give her um, inputs, her inputs, her inputs on what happened to, um, Take off and some other like some stuff that we always hear about, but we still don't have no proof unless you are in tune with a family member that's in the industry and you have friends or whatever. So my thing is this, this what you guys are about to hear from Miss Lisa. That's um Pierre from Quality Control. He's the um CEO of Quality Control, um music records company, whatever. He was the um, the manager or whatever I guess for um, Migos. I'm not sure, but anyway, he's the CEO of um Quality Control. His name is P. So his mom gonna be telling it all, and I said, when I say telling it all, I said telling it motherfucking all. So um, my thing is this, y'all, is this lady? You think she? Mm, not talk about somebody's mama, but everybody's somebody's mama. But I mean, you know, shit. Is she cloud chasing? Is she lying? Is she putting a twenty on ten? I don't fucking know. But I want y'all. To give me your opinion on this in the comment section. So I am your girl Queen Three One Eight Red, which created Diva House of Queens TV. And you're here for the first time. Welcome, 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 welcome. Bring your ass up in here. Go tell your mama. Go tell your daddy. Go tell your sister, your cousin, your brother, your auntie, your uncle. Go tell your cats and dogs. Go tell the motherfucker down the street to get their ass over here on House of Queens TV. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Also, hit the notification bell button. Also, every time I blow, you have to be notified. And thumbs up this content so it can push me to the other rhythm. Awesome. Leave a comment, you guys. I really want to know you guys' intake on this content that I'm about to share with you guys from the content creator Gossip Girls. So, um, like I said, me and Mr. G... We always talk from here and there. I'm always on her um live when she go live. I didn't call in this time because when I jumped into her live to um last night, she was already live. And when I jumped in, I mean, ba baby, Miss Lisa was she was talking some shit, and I was like, mm mm, honey. And so she was talking about her children. She was talking about her children, and I was like. Wow, I can't believe this. I mean, my child that I birthed trying to illuminate me, allegedly. Allegedly. And also, disclaimer, what you guys are about to hear in um, the content that's over here on Gossip Girls. Also, I'm doing it on my channel because I see a lot of content creators have put this um, audio out but did not give the credit to the original content creator that's Miss Gigi, Gossip Girl XOXO. And she ain't the type that's gonna be talking shit like Storm Monroe was when they um did the little um interview he had with the with the one girl and other people was uploading it and um he came and talked this shit like he should. 
Miss Gigi's not like that. So I want to take the time out and give her the credit where I got my content from. Like I always do. If I use someone's content, I'm always going to give them credit. <laughs> so anywho, I don't want to be sitting here rambling and going on, going on. Let's get your ass up into it. Like I said, go tell your mommy, auntie, your cousin, sister, your brother, the cats, the dogs, and they down the street to get their ass up in here on House of Queen CV. Because it's about to go down with Miss Lisa, the mother of Pierre Thomas from Quality Control Records. She finna tell y'all some slimy, grimy, sticky, icky. Had me, um, I was fucking backhand embarrassed and, and ashamed. Because I couldn't believe what I was hearing. But Father do, let's get into this, y'all. I've been made to look crazy. I've been made to look that I'm a, I'm a junkie. I'm this and I'm that. Let me tell you something. You can raise a child on their knees. You can take them in the church of God in Christ because I did all that. My house was a house of prayer. Where a snake is a snake is a snake is a snake. These witches, these warlocks, they be in your own bloodline. When I found out Takeoff was dead, um, I, I know that that Halloween night, um, I'm going to say this and I'm going to get out the phone. When I laid down, I said, Lord, because I don't celebrate Halloween. I've been in jail. I've been made to look crazy. I've been made to look that I'm a, I'm a junkie. I'm this and I'm that. Let me tell you something. You can raise a child on their knees. You can take them in the church of God in Christ because I did all that. My house was a house of prayer. Well, a snake is a snake is a snake is a snake. These witches, these warlocks, they be in your own bloodline. When I found out Takeoff was dead, um, I, I know that that Halloween night, um, I'm going to say this and I'm going to get out the phone. When I laid down, I said, Lord, because I don't celebrate Halloween. We are not to elevate Satan on no levels. We are not to give him any type of props or homage. And, and P, they call him P. I'll never call him P. He's Pierre to me. Pierre. He ain't QC to me. He ain't P. He's that boy to me. You never know, know that I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of worrying about my safety. I know that Takeoff was a good kid. He was a good, you know, good son. You know, that ain't my testimony. Why? Why so much fucking pain? You know, and why? Why you have to make me sacrifice? You understand? They say they sacrifice the one they love. A motherfucker who love you ain't gonna sacrifice you. That's bullshit. They love their damn self. You know, I heard that Pierre is so broken about takeoff. I know why. Because number one, takeoff was a wonderful individual. Number two, there's a betrayal, okay? And I just ain't going to talk about it, but uh, this ain't no chess game, no chucker game, this a chess game. Anybody coming for me, because they've been coming for me, they're not going to stop coming for me. But I'm going to tell you, I'm a child of the Most High God, and the blood of Jesus is on me. The devil can keep you in his best shot with me. So allegedly, um, Miss Lisa Pierre Thomas' mother, the guy that the CEO of Quality Control Records, his mother, out her own mouth, she said that they been trying to come out for her, her own child. Y'all heard what Kanye West said that he sacrificed his mother. Y'all remember the Jennifer Hudson situation when she allegedly offed off her whole family, her mother. Her brother and her nephew. Try. And it goes mostly that we do hear in the sacrifice. When they do um, offer for sacrifice, it's always a loved one. I mean, maybe because um, if it if you do offer up a sacrifice and it has to be a loved one, this can't be like anybody because it's easy to go off of an enemy, right? You can go easily do that for a sacrifice. But it's too easy to get to get rid of someone that you don't like. So if you really 
want to be devoted into this industry, into this game, you're going to have to give up something that you love. So I get it when she says that you have to offer up something that you love because, again, it's easy to offer up a sacrifice for someone that you hate. It's harder to do it to someone that you love. So that means you really got to be committed into this sacrifice, this Illuminati, whatever they want to call it, if you're going to offer up a loved one. Because, see, I am dying. I'm in God's army. We know that we all going to leave this life. Uh, when I tell you I'm sacrificed, I don't even know Pierre grand Pierre children. Pierre will not face me. Tavares Thomas will not face me. Um, that shit that happened to me at my grandmother's funeral cannot go undone. I will not lay down. They 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 did a ritual with me in my grandmama's funeral. That would not go undone. More so not about me. What about you desecrated my grandmother's home going, her life? You understand? And she did not deserve that. Hey, how y'all doing? The lady you just heard was Lisa. That is the mother of one of the most powerful men in hip hop industry, Pierre. You know, we was doing the live like we always do. And, um, she came on the live and she had the bet. She was moved by the spirit. And she talked about the rituals in Hollywood. The sacrifices. And she's not scared because she have God on her side. So I want you guys to take the time out to listen to what she has to say. This is my <laughs> interview. This is just her venting. And telling you her truth. If y'all can, make sure y'all like and share. I am your girl, Miss Gigi, reporting from the YouTube channel Gossip Girl XOXO. Check. It's uncomfortable with this situation. I wanted to go pay my respect to take off. But I couldn't because they already got my picture down now. They're gonna humiliate me, have me locked up, say I'm crazy. So God told me to stay back. You talked about the guilt for discernment. I am a counselor, and so I know the way to take off. I know he, I know that he was intuitive, and I'm sure that he felt something. Listen, you follow the closest one that's closest to you and it can cost you your life. My health is all messed up. My sister dropped me from behind in a Christmas dinner. They flew me from LA. After that, my son tripped me in the dark, let a trunk down on my back. Don't tell me what family won't do. I'm in court right now with my aunt who have been dragging me in and out of court on false accusations. I finally get a damn TPO on her. She want to move the judge out the way so she can get what she wants. What the hell wrong with you can't just leave me alone? Because, see, jealousy is as cruel as the grave, baby. Jealousy is as I'm real fucking mad about this shit we take off. And fuck J. Prince. And fuck Jazz Quint and fuck J. Okay. Prince Jr. And I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to be able to let this mother know my heart is with you. They won't let me get close to nobody. And not that I want to be seen because that ain't my world. I don't condone none of this shit. Anybody coming for me, because they've been coming for me, they're not going to stop coming for me. But I'm going to tell you, I'm a child of the Most High God, and the blood of Jesus is on me. The devil can keep shooting his best shot with me. Because, see, I am dying. 
I'm in God's army. We know that we all going to live, live this life. Nobody's going to stay here. I don't give a fuck if you the billionaire with the most billions on the earth. Your ass going to sleep or you, uh, you going to leave here. Because we didn't come in this land and stay here. When it comes to the young people. And my thing like this, my um kings and my queens over here. She said they didn't come for her, right? What made her speak out now? She said she'd be going to court. I don't know which one of her sons that um tripped her and closed the trunk on her back. But how could you do it to your own mother? But anyways, you guys, my question is this. What made her come forward now? She said they've been coming for her. They did a ritual on her at her, um, I believe she said her, her mother's funeral. But what make her speak out now is because she knows something about what happened with takeoff. I don't know, you guys. I'm, 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 I'm asking questions too. Let me know. And if you guys are still here and you watch the content from beginning to the end, please, please, you guys, go ahead and um, thumb up the content. Uh, I'm asking you guys. It's free. It's for the free. It's not going to cost you anything. You're already over here viewing the content. Why you just can't go ahead and thumbs up the content as well? Even if you don't go through the beginning to the end, at least thumbs up the content. Please. Please don't follow nobody. Stop following Stop following y'all. Because y'all didn't hear Tupac. He said in real life, your friends is your enemies. Huh? They should have learned from Tupac and Biggie. I'm not understanding why these boys was in Houston with this stuff that just happened with Duke the Jeweler. I don't get it. I don't get it that if you had that status, security is... Damn, special forces, Navy SEALs and shit, you got money. I, I saw the messy video, I saw a lot of messages. I'm not going to try to say too much, but Gigi, you're a bad girl. I've been listening to you for a long thank time. You. Thank you, um, thank you, thank you. And I want to say my heart goes out to you. And I wanted to be quiet. I did not want to interrupt you because I knew you was passionate and you had something to say. So I was giving you that, you know, that thing. But, you know, you're so right, you know. Why would they go over there? They don't have to go over there. But I think the reason why, if you want to know why, Quavo have something to prove. Quavo, they said his oh, record was doing bad. And he wants interceding and praying for takeoff. Because I pray for all of the artists. I pray for the artists. Because I know the truth. And uh, a lot of times these people start out good people. I mean, I, I, when they hey, hey, start out good. I'm and cool. then when they get to the industry, they flip them. They flip them. But still, it's about choice. You can, you can choose this. You know, my ch my sons was going to this church, and he, they got a pimp pastor from New York. Um, Dallas Wilson, I call him out. Yeah. But uh, all he pushed was millionaire, millionaire, millionaire. Next thing you know, I started looking up, seeing all these changes first. I was glad, because they was in the Church of God in Christ. But I ain't never seen no Church of God in Christ like this. Because this man ain't not one time talked about uh, the second coming of Christ. You know, and that's and, and every church needs to be getting us ready for the second coming of Christ. No, he always talked about money, 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 money. Millionaire, millionaire, millionaire. Well, look at this millionaire shit, because he got his family, and I ain't got mine. You know, I mean, it is what it is. But, Gigi, you hold it down. I'm not going to take a lot of your time. And young people, y'all pay attention. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Take the scales off your eyes. That Bible says, you got an eye, let him see. You got an ear, let him hear. Whatever the Holy Spirit says, the first time it is what it is. Don't try to move it out the way because the truth is the truth. And today I just want to salute takeoff. I do. 
And I just pray that his soul is well with the Lord. I pray that he went into the light. Because ain't none of us perfect. Ain't none of us perfect. He that's without sin cast the first stone. But this was a young man that had love. He, he, I've never heard nothing. I always heard this from the door. How quiet he was and laid back he was. I've heard it. You know, funny. And then, you guys, is also, um, the death of, well, the murder of, um, Takeoff is, like, hitting the whole world very hard. His death, you can say, it can almost equal up to Nipsey Hussle, as in how much love that he had and how much hurt it caused the world when he was murdered. But the difference between Nipsey Hussle and um, Takeoff is that Takeoff was quiet. He didn't start no drama. And from what un un announced to me, he wasn't in that gang life. He wasn't thugging in the streets. <laughs> he stepped when it was time to step with his family. Of course he gonna do that. But he went out here in the streets starting drama. You know, so that's why a lot of people are very hurt because, again, this young man, life was taken like normal people too fucking soon. And also, he didn't bother nobody. He went with the drama. He went with the bullshit. So that's why a lot of people are upset. People want answers. And this is going to go on and on and on. We already in our web. He already been laid to rest. Answer, questions are still not answered, you know? So, like I said, people taking this really personal. Because uh, from word on the streets, the social media streets, is that that bullet was not for him. It was for Quavo. Allegedly. Allegedly. But I'm not going to have this to be too, too long. I'm going to go ahead and let Miss Lisa continue to say some more of her stuff. And I'm going to come back with my commentary. Again, thumbs up the commentary, you guys. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Shout out to Miss Gossip Girl XOXO. Hey, Mr. G. Inside of that label. But I'm just praying the mother's strength, the grandmother's strength, and every bereaved mother strength in the Lord. Stand like we done damn retired the Ku Klux Klan because do this, but uh, y'all be careful about which way you do it though, because you know what you can go to school and you can you can become an engineer, you can go to school and you can become an attorney. He needed a lawyer. He did try to get the police to let me go. I don't think they knew who he was. Girl, I don't bother nobody. I am very about his life. Take what y'all need and and use it and learn from it. Because I'm, I believe if takeoff was here, he tell all of y'all, stay away from this. Stay away from this. Because, you know, it's senseless. Who really winning? Because them folks who, who go into their levels and getting their money, Guess what though? They ain't, they ain't gonna be no 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 rest for the weary, for the wicked, baby. Ain't nothing so ain't nobody gonna get away with nothing like you said earlier. <clears throat> nobody gets away with nothing. Everything done in the dark comes to the light and God got a way of revealing his power. And I just pray for this family. I really do. My heart has just been so torn and broken. And then I wanted to go to the funeral. I got an old truck because I live in a county where it ain't no transportation. Motherfuckers put me down here, promise me this, promise me that. It's been a royal nightmare, but I just thank God every day because I'm sheltered. I'm covered. My life is hard. I struggle as a single parent, and I'm struggling now with rich motherfuckers, okay? They take care of hoes. They don't do shit for me. You understand? But guess what? I ain't mad at them hoes. I ain't mad at them hoes. I ain't, the only thing I'm mad at about that whole prima donna, she put her hands on me. And she came, and they paid a judge, and they locked me up for 27 days. That's factual. I just, you know, they... And see, like I said, 
prima donna is this the same prima donna that she's that um that she's speaking on that's the woman from um love and hip-hop miami go check out love and hip-hop miami i think she was on season um two when she got into it with um jocelyn hernandez and she also got into it with um amara negra so she's the heavy set girl that was um doing the shapewear i think and a whole bunch of bullshit but anyway if that's the same prima donna, she was on Love and Hip Hop Miami. Got me locked up, trying to put a phone in charge on me. I ain't never threatened that. I ain't threatened that bitch. That bitch put her hands on me to hold me. I would have ran her fat ass over. Yep, so she said that ass. That's her. That's her. That's her. Came from church. I thought my son was there. She let me through the gate. <laughs> that's her. But that bitch, she knows she better not never come nowhere near me. I'm never going nowhere near She ain't her. no fighter. My youngest son, ever since I got out, ever since I got out, because just been deaf, 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 deaf. They don't even want me at funerals, y'all. Not my people. I went to my grandmother's funeral. I'm first born, the first grandbaby. I'm the closest one, was the closest one and the only one doing it for my grandmama. I want y'all to know they had security at the door, at the step, jumped up in my face with a piece of paper, a picture of me, come out. Are you whatever my name is? Okay. I and I said, yes, I am. Why? They were trying to ban had on um, black security shirts. They had niggas with black security shirts. Um, no down. identification. Um, and I, and um, he, he, I said, I, I, I said, yes, I am. Why? This, this dude, like, you can't go in the church. The fuck you talking about? That's my grandma. I'm the only one that did for her. What are you saying? You understand? Then I did my son. Uh, and, and my Eva aunt, uh, my my cousin, and my nephew, they did a body armor. I'm talking about you had grown big ass men from the Cal County Police uh, Department that jump was jumping up in my face, whipping at me like they in the army, like I'm in the army, telling me I'm not gonna go in the church. You cannot even fathom me sitting on the front row looking like a queen and all white, all white. White shoes with angel wings on the back of them. Pearls on them. I had on all white. The police came in there. They took my ass to jail, y'all, in my grandmother's funeral. Couldn't even tell me what the damn charge was. I asked the police, what's the charge? Uh, 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 you were going to have one charge. Sergeant Craven, whoever the fuck you is. Uh, uh, but now you got two charges. How in the hell you charge me with criminal trespassing? Huh? And my grandmama's funeral, and they got my name on the, on the, um, uh, on the program. Huh? And talking about, I disrupted a funeral. No, y'all disrupted it by not allowing me to come in that church and, and honor my grandmother. You understand? And, and um, listen, it's... Some sad ass shit, y'all, because that case is open right now. I've been trying to get a restraining order on my sister, because she be working with my son. They all together. Keith Scott, yeah. That girl, that girl looks at me like she want me dead. They trying to make her assume my identity. She's always at my children, my grandchildren's birthday party. Her, my cousin, they always all over Instagram. Look, I don't care who you is. You can't walk in my shoes, bro. You ain't strong enough. You ain't built like me. You, all the pain that I've been through and all the work I put in, can't nobody take that from me. I did that shit with the help of God. There's a few, few good friends. Shout out to Fulton County Sheriff. Shout out to the hood that's seen about me because my family wasn't seen about me. That protected me and protected my kids. So, you know, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you. You keep being the queen that you are. We you keep doing you. what you're doing. Because you know what? And, Other um, people can't I'm sorry if I got out of whack. No, I got out of whack. Don't, no, don't, don't, whack, don't but apologize I... for. And my thing, like this, you guys, when I get on social media, this YouTube, this good old YouTube street, and I talk my shit. And sometimes I be subliminal, and sometimes I don't. But my thing is this, and I stand ten toes down when I say it. When I get on these social media streets and I talk about motherfuckers, and they got a problem with it, my thing is this. 
If I'm saying anything wrong, or if it's a lie, sue me. So in her case, same thing. I mean, it ain't like he need the money. She already said they trying to offer off. You know, we got prima donna, but she said with her fat ass. That's how I knew she, that was the one from Love and Hip Hop Miami. Ah, not my children, not the ones that I birthed. I don't care what I have done as a mother. You raise your hand at me, you ain't gonna raise it again. And then she said her youngest son, baby mother, same thing. It's not enough police officer that gonna get me off your ass. And, you, and, and if my son sitting there and allowing his baby mama, bitch, who, where, went, and why? That's what they're gonna be saying to me because of how I did them because my son allowed his baby mother to do what she did. But again, to keep going, not to be rambling, but I hope this ain't true about Pierre and his brother. Because again, I listened to this last night and it was sad to hear. It really was sad to hear that um, that she said. So, like, again, like I'm telling you guys, do you guys believe her story? Do you think she's making this up? And I don't think she is. I think she's telling the truth. She bent one to, to get this off her chest. She didn't need the right moment to do it. And it's not that she's doing this off of take off um, passing. It came as the right, it goes hand in hand on the sacrifice that goes on in the industry. So, my prayers go out to Miss Lisa. And if you guys want to um, know more about Miss Lisa, you guys can also go to Gossip Girls channel, um, XOX Sun, and in the, I think in the description box or in the comment section where they have. Um, some information if you guys I don't I, I didn't I can't remember but um she didn't leave her cash app but just to reach out to her and talk to her if you guys want to do so so I'm not saying that's a hundred percent true I believe so because like I said and I watched when I heard this last night it broke my heart because I can't see how a child would do this to a parent. You know, I didn't have the best um, relationship with, with my father, you know, but at the end of the day, he still was my dad. And he did some fucked up shit, but at the end of the day, he still was my dad, <clears throat> you know, so I had to make that right with God when he was passing away because, like I said, um, we fought like cats and dogs. My dad, we fought like we was two fucking people on the street that we didn't even know each other. That's how we fought. And Maybe I was wrong to hit my daddy back, but I didn't have that relationship with him. And he did some other fucked up shit, too. Maybe one day I'll sit down and talk to y'all about it. But right now, we talking about Miss Lisa and her fucked up ass kids. So, you know, um, hey, I can't see myself as a mother and the child I birth think they're going to raise their hand at my mother ass and then let alone go get in the industry you think he's gonna sacrifice sacrifice me bitch who the illuminati think they they strong they ain't met how's the queen cv not to be joking but this is, this is a serious topic you know i don't want to be sitting here um having that frog in my throat crying, you know, my voice started cracking so I'm trying to make a little humorous out of this because this is a serious topic. You got this man that's powerful in the industry. He got mob ties with Jay Prince. And his mama sitting on here saying that her son try to close a trunk down on her back. And her other son 
is fighting with her with his baby mother. Then you got her sister jumping her. This lady been through a lot of shit, but <laughs> as God is true, she's still here. She's still here. And she's giving her testimony. So shout out to Miss Lisa. God loves you, baby. And we love you. And we thank you for giving us your testimony and what you've been going through. We can't imagine how your life was growing up and what you've been through. But God brought you to this platform to give your story. To share your story. To share your testimony with us. And we appreciate it. I have only thing like I know what to do is to tell the truth. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to tell the truth. You understand? And because um, I, 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 for a whole damn week, because, uh, you know, when, when I found out Takeoff was dead, um, I, I know that that Halloween night, um, I'm going to say this and I'm going to get out the phone. When I laid down, I said, Lord, because I don't celebrate Halloween. Halloween is a celebration of death. Y'all stop taking it, buying these costumes and shit for your kids. When, when I, I didn't know no bad idea, the same thing. We are not to elevate Satan on no levels. We are not to give him any type of props or homage. You understand? It don't mean you got to be holier than thou. But if you know that this stuff is a trick of the enemy, please don't involve your little kids because they don't know no better. They only know what you teach them. And then if they get grown, I know every time one of mine turned 14, all hell broke loose. Because I didn't have no man in my house. They were all bigger than me. They all challenged me. The virus never touched me or laid a hand on me until uh, Prima Donna. Now, uh, uh, that, uh, that witch right there, God going to deal with her. You understand? Because uh, she, you ain't got away with shit. You know you put your hands on me. You know you better not never come nowhere near me. And I say this with all sincerity. These judges don't want to give me no no restraining order to keep my sister away from me. Um, my aunt used to work in the DA's office. She got pulled with the judges. They've been letting her do everything to me. Girl, I ain't laying down. Girl, I ain't laying down. Girl, I don't bother nobody. I am very giving very loving but i am not no damn shit miss this better move to say, fucking florida that's that your ground state because if any motherfucker step to her she got the free you know they want to see you act up miss lisa if she do um listen to this um content right here on house queen's tv she needs to move to florida stay in your ground state where you have free will to protect yourself. Because of this, the stuff that you're saying, how they come and act at you and stuff like this and that and the third, let them step on your property. Not even your property. You can be going anywhere, grocery store, shopping, whatever. As long as you got documentation that they've been fucking with you, that's all you need. Tell your friends, tell anybody, give them recordings, video, whatever. So when it's time to push it to the limit, they fucked with you. You and Florida stand your fucking ground. You was protecting your life. You took a life to protect your life. So today, I chose not to even make an attempt to go to take off funeral, um, uh, uh, home, supposed to be home going celebration. It don't add up to me. What the hell Justin Bieber coming here for? Atlanta got so much damn talent here. Why are they not serenading him with that Atlanta talent? Atlanta is the city that made the Migos. You know, it's Atlanta money. Yeah. You know, but you ain't got nobody from Atlanta uh, headlining this thing. You know, no disrespect to Justin Bieber or no disrespect to Alicia Keys, but we got talent in Atlanta. 
um, how come Usher couldn't, Usher couldn't uh, beat out instead of Justin Bieber? This shit don't add up to me. I don't like it, but I ain't got nothing to do with it, but I'm just speaking my, my, my mind about it. A lot of this shit don't add up. And I hope that Takeoff's body is not at State Farm Arena. I hope that it's not for him to be like a spectacle. I hope that they did a private service. Nope. And uh, I hope that he's already at rest. I do. You know. Okay, you guys, this content has been long enough. I might make a part two, depending on how many views I get for this one. So, this is your girl, Queen 318, Ray with the House of Queens TV. And if you're here for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are kings and queens over here. My crowns and my tiaras. Subscribe to the channel if you want to do so. Hit the notification bell button. Hit also every time below. You guys will be notified. Also, also, also. Go ahead and thumbs up the content. So, I can push me to the algorithm. So, other people can, you know, experience what I am trying to put out over here on House Queen's TV. Also, you guys, leave me a comment in the comment section so I know what you guys thought about this content. Again, shout out to um, Gossip Girl XOXO. This is where I got my content from. Again, a lot of YouTubers, uh, country creators has um, big content on her, and I have not heard not one give her her credit. So, you know, like I said, that's my friend. We are friends in real life. I know her personally. <laughs> so, shout out to my girl. Much love and respect to you. I love you so much, Miss Gigi. And I appreciate what you're doing out here on your channel. So, again, it's a thing called life. It's good. It's bad. It's whatever you make it. But put your faith in God and he will see you through. I love you. God loves you. And I hope you love yourself even more. Keep it in mind, it will get greater later. I will catch you guys on another one. Bye, you guys.